Scorpio. What you need to be aware of is represented by the Six of Wands in reverse. Actually, before I get to that, I want to mention trying to shuffle your cards was really disjointed. I only take jumpers and big batches were falling out. It was a very clumpy energy. Now back to this Six of Wands in reverse. This can be an energy of not feeling successful in some area. You don't feel a victory. It's possibly not feeling seen and validated. On this card, we have a feminine on stage in the spot, spotlight. And if upright, she would be receiving praise and recognition after a performance. But it's in reverse. You may be feeling like co-workers or important people in your life aren't seeing or acknowledging you as you had hoped. This is also a reminder that the only validation you need is your own. It's not needed from the external, even though it can feel nice to receive it. Your obstacle is the Three of Pentacles. This is a card of collaboration. Teamwork makes a dream work. This could definitely be work related. On this card, I feel like your obstacle is you always feel like the outsider and possibly don't fit into the clique. I don't feel this is anything to be concerned about. I just feel self-doubt and you possibly wanting external validation. But that is something that feeds the ego and I feel like you know that. In the past, we had the King of Wands, which came out sideways. Again, this is a lack of self-confidence and being able to stand true in who you are and what value you bring to the table. There may have been a specific incident in the past that you are still carrying, which has you doubting your potential and your value in this environment. In the future position, we had the Magician and the Ten of Cups. These both came out sideways as well. Whoops. I think you're really questioning if possibly a work environment, a job that you're currently in is ever going to bring you the fulfillment you desire. It's like you know and it, it doesn't allow you to express your purpose so the satisfaction is definitely limited here. Let's grab an oracle card from the Angels and Ancestors Oracle. Can we please get any further guidance? information in regarding to this situation for Scorpio please Oops, there we go oh we've got quite a few here we've got guardian angel you are not alone and that came out in reverse we've got seer see beyond the current situation and we've got spring see your seeds grow and that one came out in reverse as well. So let's start with Guardian Angel. Okay. Watch for signs and reminders from your angels and loved ones. That they are close by. Remember, they are working hard to guide you. The Guardian Angel card shows the white feather that has become known as the Guardian Angel's business card. Whenever a white feather appears in your life and or this card appears in a reading, it's a message to say your Guardian Angel and Ancestor Guides are particularly close at this time and they're supporting you with their love. If you have asked for help with a particular situation, know that there is divine intervention in the works. Everyone has a guardian angel who has been with them in all their past lifetimes and will be there in all the lifetimes to come. So know that you are never alone and never will be alone. This card is a huge reminder that there is always help and support available to you. Your guardian angel is with you now and is here to aid you in all your endeavors. In order to fully receive their support, first ask for it, then surrender to the process. Know that whatever unfolds will be for your highest good. Now we'll do Sia. Look beyond your current situation, raise your vibration and focus on love. Most indigenous people have a seer in the family or tribe. Seers are the intelligent and intuitive beings who serve as direct channels for information on what's occurring now and what's about to unfold. 
Their energy isn't about predicting your future for you, but about showing you how your intentions are creating it. A true seer will help you see that your intentions can change. Therefore, so can your future. The message of this card is to let the clairvoyant within you rise up so that you can see the way forward yourself with your spiritual eyes. Clairvoyance isn't just about predicting the future. It's about being able to see clearly enough to create your best future. You are being encouraged by your ancestral guides and angels to see beyond what you think is happening now. Don't allow your ego or doubts to play games with you. Instead of seeing yourself as stuck or lost, know you're in an energetic holding space while the universe, sorry, universe recalibrates a path that is more favorable for you. Angels of light are upgrading your energy so your experience can be more enjoyable. You are moving towards something extremely uplifting and enlightening. So stay calm and keep your eyes on the prize. And the last one is spring. As soon as I find it. Embrace the change that is on the horizon. Allow your dreams to become reality. Spring is an exciting time because it has so much potential. Animals are coming out of hibernation, flowers are pushing up through the soil, and the days are getting lighter and brighter. The spring card featured features a wild hare because in Celtic animal medicine, the hare brings intuition and rebirth. Hares are highly fertile beings, and so their medicine can bring dreams to life. You are ready to bring to life all of your ideas, inspirations, and projects. When this card appears, you are moving into a space that allows you to really grow, expand and create in a way that you've never done before. There are opportunities for abundance, including financial growth. And if you're starting something new, prepare for a major expansion in your life and soul. When the spring card arrives in the future position of a spread or as the last card in a reading, it can also indicate that the coming spring will usher an important energetics, energy, sorry, it can also indicate that the coming spring will usher in important energies with regards to your questions or intentions. That's what I've got for you, Scorpio. I hope something in this reading resonates for you.